Hi everyone and welcome. In this episode, we begin to explore Samos Island by foot, sharing with you some of our typical boat life antics. But as usual, not everything goes to plan. If you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell for more videos. Namaste. on his flip-flops. So this is the home of the famous Pythagoras, which is very fitting as Josh is learning all about Pythagoras in maths at the moment. Yeah, we'll um, go that way today. No, nah, I'm all right. The, the beer's at the top. Oh my gosh, there's a chill box. You've never had a chill box before. It's frozen Greek yogurt with any topping you want on it. There's some good things about not being in the wilderness. Why am I carrying the washing? <laughs> After that blimmin' hell ride here. It's a pink job. I've done the blue job earlier. Oh. I got us here. Seriously, I do not feel good. Take the damn bag. No way. Ah. Well done, mate. Why didn't I think of that before? So this is the main street. I feel like I'm in Spain. Why is the guy's a pub? We're well, asking everyone over. That was good. Laundry is all dropped off. We're just walking back into the town now. And Panayotis, the chap who has done the laundry, it's gonna drop it off to the boat tomorrow, which is awesome. Be free with me. Be free. Be free with me. Be free. It's very tired. Um, I'm just sat on deck, chilling out. Get some work done. Look at the lovely view. quite funny antics going on at the moment. Ross has been trying for about half an hour now to swing off the mainsail and around the bow of the boat. He's done it a few times before, but for today, for some reason, he can't do it and he thinks it's because he hasn't got an audience. So I decided it'd be a good idea to film him. Nothing like a bit of pressure, is there? And through the process of doing so, he's been splashing the bed through the window. Did you do it? Yeah. I was just got I just got the camera out, Ross. You did it. And you have people watching and they were all going bravo. And you have the flipping camera out. Right, go have to do it again now. I think that's even better. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yeah, we're supposed to be going out because uh, we are taking the boys on a little field excursion boat school afternoon to Samos Tunnel. 
So Samos Tunnel is over a kilometre long and it's a bit of a mathematical phenomenon. It was used to transport water to Samos. Two guys dug the tunnel from one end to the other and they met in the middle and it's far underground, it's underneath the mountain and I am bricking it because I get quite claustrophobic. It is also apparently the eighth wonder of the world. So it sounds like it's gonna be pretty cool. Well, if we're gonna do this, then I'm gonna need some Dutch courage. So, today I bought some of this. Samos, local famous Greek wine. So Samos is well known for its wineries and in particular for its Muscat. We're gonna have it now, because I need it. Oh dear, we're having issues. The, um, the arms don't work. The arms don't work. Get that damn cork out. Yamas. Yeah, nice. I suppose you better do that for the camera. <laughs> yeah, for the camera. Mmm. That's my kind of wine. It tastes like yeah, it's honey marmalade. Yeah, it does. It tastes like marmalade. Noah, yeah. what do you think you're doing? <laughs> Noah's taste testing the musket for us. Is it to your... <laughs> Right, he's not having any more of that. That's strong stuff by the looks of it. <laughs> Got a medical emergency. <laughs> Ross had something in his eyes. So he thought he was putting eye wash in his eye and he squirted eardrops in his eyes, which is hydrogen peroxide. <laughs> I just read that as Optrex eye drops it. So I had sore I have I had sore eye, I woke up with sore eyes, now I've got a really sore eye. Don't even have. Hydro peroxide in the eye. Look at these little pink eye. That'll wake, wake you up in the morning. That's a good joke for me. So what if I don't know what Argamedon means? It's not the end of the world. <laughs> Argamedon. Armageddon. I'm getting out of here. So are you. Ross is really excited about going in the tunnel, aren't you? Not really, no. <laughs> Have you got a bit of a fear of small spaces? Yeah. I thought it was me that had the problem with small spaces. He does not like tunnels. Or being underground. Or being underground. In fact, he hates just being anything other than on the water. Let's go shopping instead. <laughs> now I know you're scared. <laughs> scared is too weird. You hate shopping. Come on, we're doing this. Do you know there should be some kind of warning Cause we've been down this road before We're going in the tunnel We're going in the tunnel We're not scared Daddy's scared <laughs> Back to the pub then. Years not allowed. <laughs> Daddy, you got away with it. Woo! Oh, well, we got to do something with adrenaline today. It's okay, Johnny. Are they allowed to look oh, yeah. inside? Oh, yeah. It's okay. They're all really excited. Josh, I feel your pain. I'm devastated. <laughs> no, you're not. You're just gutted that there isn't a pub up here. It's a very kind lady has let us take some photos and have a look at the oh, cool. So just for your information guys, anyone who is coming up here, you have to be over the age of 14 and you can't have things like heart problems and panic attack disorders, that kind of stuff is a no-no. So just look at the rules and regs before you come up here. But we made it and it's a beautiful view. It's a nice walk, isn't it? Take a, yeah, we're going to take a little look down at the actual tunnel and to be honest with you, it does look pretty scary. Can you feel like cold air coming up? You know, we talked about how it's about 
16 degrees down there, yes, don't we? Yes, yes. Yeah, about 16 degrees. It feels lovely, doesn't it? No, you don't know a James Bond. No, you can know how to have a quick look. Well, actually, apparently the first 80 metres is the only scary bit. And then after that, the tunnel widens for a long time. And I think it looks quite beautiful. I was thinking. And this tunnel is 1,032 metres long. And it's known as the eighth wonder of the world. And two men tunnelled it from one side to the other and they met in the middle. How cool is that? And guess what? When you're 14 years old, we're going to come back here and we're going to go down that tunnel and we're going to make it our mission. We'll do it on your 14th birthday. There you go. I got something that will cheer you up. Oh, lovely. It's not an alpha, but it'll be. And it's ice cold as well. Amazing. Thank you. Worth the walk. Well worth the walk. So, to conclude... I think it's well worth a visit. Unfortunately, we just didn't get to go inside of it. No, but luckily Laura bought me a beer, <laughs> so all in the world as well. Yeah! Morning, guys. Well, it's a beautiful day here in Samos. So we're just having a bit of a Bits and Bobs day, but we thought we'd show you a little bit of Samos Port because it's a great place for you to go if you're a sailor and you just want to stock up on water. And apparently the water is drinking water, which is amazing because that means we can fill up all of our water tanks and I want to get the cleaning done inside as well. Ready for us, mate? So this is Samos Port, plenty of space. Over here we have the Pythagoras statue, which is a really cool little statue to visit and you have a park right next to it for the little ones and all the way along here there's lots of lovely little restaurants and tavernas we're gonna go right about here lovely little port very friendly people here as well drop it like a tuck Tight. He's in charge of the back, I'm in charge of the front. All done. Time for the breakfast. Here's one I prepared earlier. Also, plenty of bars to pikey some Wi Fi from. Whoa. Josh is helping Daddy today. Sorry. Josh is cleaning the crane. And I'm just down under as usual. <laughs> doing my thing. One thing I absolutely love about Port Life is hot running water and the ability to just blitz the boat. Well, I'm all done in here. Boys are all done out there. There's only one thing left to do now, and that's wash me. Have you finished all your work, Noah? Yeah. I'm going to do any work today because it's the weekend. You didn't do any work today. Everyone else did. What? Yep. Even Joshy did? Even Joshy. Joshy's earned himself five euros. Thank you. Legend. Joke of the day, guys. The three bears came back home. Daddy bear said, Who's been eating my porridge? Mummy bear said, Who's been eating my porridge? And baby bear said, Never mind about the porridge, who's next to Tally? <laughs> <laughs> so I just said to Josh, No, sorry, I just said to Noah, If he lies down and goes to sleep, I'll leave his toys in there. Right. Otherwise, I'm going to take him out. He's like, Oh, okay then, I'll go to sleep. And he's got a grin on his face, and I know as soon as I walk out, he's gonna play with his toys. Mm. He's devious. Get on your hands and knees! Get on your hands and knees! You've been busted. You've been busted. You're supposed to be going to sleep. Ow! Daddy! Ow! What? They're going to sleep. Ow! Oh. He's a feisty one, that one, Laura. Sure is. I was wondering if it's 
That's what I want to get for being rude to me like that. Why are you busting into my, into my room? I'm so sorry. Oh, it's alright. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Love you, night night. Did he just manipulate me then? I think he did. Well, it was a little bit funny too, Daddy. In the bed. Don't you even like living on a boat anymore? Whatever gives you that in there. Well, been a bit stressed about it lately, isn't he? No. <coughs> Who wouldn't want to live on very easily cleaned floating home that provides endless entertainment, takes you on holiday to somewhere new every time you move, but you live on it and is on the ocean, which is the most awesome place. So what's the problem? 5% of the time, it scares the living out of you. That's the only time when I don't want to live on it. It's, um, if I have to be thrown around 5% of the time and scared less, I'd rather that than live on land any day. Make me a